What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this one, I've got the Tactical Innovations Tag Rounds. A lot of you have asked about these, so let's get into it and give you my honest opinion of what I think of these rounds. So on the table here, we've got the Reaper Rounds. These are the ones with the yellow heads, as you can see here. These are what I've used. You get, the, you get other rounds, you get ones with white heads. Um, you get training rounds, impact rounds, chalk rounds. And there is smoke rounds out there, but I have yet to see them available to buy. Um, essentially what they are is a rocket that you can fire out and it explodes on impact. Basically you can take targets out at longer ranges. You can buy the pack as so on its own, just the rounds. You can buy the launches on its own, shells on its own, sorry. Or you can buy it as a kit. But in the kit you get 8 rounds and a launching shell. The launching shell is rifled on the inside. And at the bottom, you've got a big gas compartment. This is what you fill up with green gas or, as recommended by TAG, CO2. You get your round, whatever your round of choice is. In particular here, I've got Reapers. These, I've got the rifle built in as well. You put it in, twist it in, and you just push it down. And it basically seats into this launcher. Load it into your launcher, a choice M203, M320, which I use here. Um, your launcher of choice, and I can take a 40mm, load it into that. Pull the trigger, it's the percussion cap, the pressure pushes the round out and sends it home. Now, I have, straight off the bat, I'm going to tell you right now, I've had a few issues with these. As you can see from the last Milsim, I think it was War Zones up Sledgehammer, if you go on there, I had a, a lot of these not explode. Now I spoke to TAG themselves and they said it could be the gas that you're using. There's nothing in the manual about using certain gases, so obviously for the recommendation that needs to be put into the manual. They recommend using compressed CO2 with these. Um, so obviously with the issues I had, I weren't really happy because the cost of these is not cheap. For the, a pack of 10, £65. Launching shell is about 50 quid on its own, just on its own. I think that's ridiculously overpriced, but the pack for the starter kit is about 110 pound for the, the shells and the shell together and the launching shell together. Um, obviously, on top of that, you've got the cost of your launcher as well. If you don't already run them 203 with um, the BB shattering shells or whatever they are, I, I've never used them. You've then got to buy an, an M320 or some sort of launcher to go into that, which you're looking at another £100 on top. So when these were exploding, first I contacted JDA Software, I got them from. They, they contacted TAG, I got in touch, I was back and forward with TAG, and then it just kind of died down. Um, JD then recontacted me, and being the amazing retailer they are, they replaced the TAG rounds for me. You know, at no cost to myself, and they basically just said, is, is a replacement set. So I was pretty pleased with that. Now, would I go out and buy them again out my own money with the issues I have had? Honestly, yes. And for the reason why is they're absolutely brilliant. Now, if you're looking to get into these and you're on a budget, don't don't waste your money. Trust me, look, they're, they're more of a heartache than they are. If you've got the funds, go out and buy them. Like I say, launching shells, once you fire them off, you've then got to regas the launching shell and fire it and obviously load it back up. Now, it's a good idea to have a few launching shells, but at the cost that they are, I think they're well overpriced. All of this is a plastic tube and a gas compartment. Now, if you're smart enough, you could potentially make these. Obviously, the rifling is the main feature in this whole tube, which is obviously what gives it that accuracy and that distance. Now, distance on these is amazing. It's a lot of guys don't expect them to come in, but the accuracy and distance. I, I've seen guys put these through windows. I've seen them put go 100 meters, 200 meters near enough. You know the the range is unbelievable. And what you can get, you're p potentially taking targets out further away. Or what a real M203 is the uh, 40 mil sorry is designed to do. I won't personally purchase an M203 to fire BB shells. It, it, I, I just think I just think it's a waste of money. It's more weight that's not needed. But this is a game changer. You're then basically changing the, the scenarios on battlefields. Um, I've managed to take guys out at distance and allow my guys to move up due to these rounds. So they are, they are a big feature in games and you will see them regularly start to get introduced because 
they, they do change it and alter the way things happen. And obviously, when you start firing these things off, they become addictive, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I say, the, the type of rounds that are available, you can get the Reaper rounds, which are these yellow ones. Basically, these have a 3 to 4 second fuse, so once you fire it, after 3 to 4 seconds, it should explode. Not that they always do, but it says inside they've got a 0.2 BBs as well. So, essentially goes off, fires a few BBs off, but they do make a loud bang, like a Mark V sound noise, um, so you do know it's gone off and they do make a little flash as well. Um, you get impact ones, which basically says what it is on the tin, you fire it, it's the wall or it's a hard surface, goes bang. Now I did see some of these hit grass and not explode due to the soft surface, so bear that in mind if you're buying the impact version. You can get the chalk ones, which essentially are good for taking out vehicles. You fire them, they hit a vehicle, mark it with chalk paint. A lot of guys have been moaning about these, saying, no, I don't want people firing chalk rounds at my gear and stuff like that. No, I, you know, it's just a, I don't see the point in that. At the end of the day, if you're in range to get it with a tag round by a chalk, chalk marker, that's your problem. You know, it's a bit of chalk, just wipe it off your gear. It's a, these, are the, these are the type of people that are just care too much about the way they look, you know, instead of winning the fight. So... If you want to buy chalk rounds, fire them at people. Buy chalk rounds and fire them at people, guys. You know what I mean? It's a, the end of the day, but predominantly they're going to be ideal for taking out vehicles. And then the ones that I've yet to see are the smoke ones, which I think are a brilliant little one. Um, I've yet to see these out, but essentially what it is, fire it out and it puts smoke out. Similar to the way a mortar works, fires out, puts smoke on the ground. Brilliant. Um, now, like I say, guys, they're not cheap, and I do think certain parts of these are overpriced, especially these shells. I, I just think they're well overpriced. Um, they work out to about, what, 10 shots? Work out to about 6 quid a shot at the minute, £7 a shot, near enough. Um, about, yeah, about £6 a shot in the UK, which is about $10, is it, US, maybe? I don't know. Um, so, they're not cheap, they are, but they, they are brilliant. But I have found a lot of guys don't take the, tend to take the hits off them because they, they're fairly new to the, the market, so a lot of guys do not know what they are. So I did find um, at one of the ops that I played where I fired these off, uh, it landed by a bunch of guys and they didn't know what it was, they just thought it was just something close that was around the wall or whatever. But hey, it happens, you know, it, snipers put up with it, it's the same as BBs, but it is frustrating, but you just get used to it. So that gives you an insight to my honest opinions on tag rounds. Like I say guys, at the minute, I think they do need improving. If you're a beginner, don't even look at these. I wouldn't even waste your money on them. Buy some better kit. If you're more experienced player and you've already got the launches and stuff like that, go and pick them up. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, like I say, if you're a big Milson player as well, like me, these are going to change the way you play and the change, the, change the altercations on the battlefield. Um, like I say guys, that's it, that's my honest opinion. Let me know if you've run tag rounds, what you think of them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.